everybody, I'm James Melzer with MovieWeb, and today I am sitting down with Ryan Core and Elila Brown, stars of the new horror movie Sting, directed by Kea Roach-Turner, which hits theaters on April 12th. Guys, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Elila, I want to start with you, because what a career you've had so far acting alongside Nicole Kidman, Sigourney Weaver, man, Chris Hemsworth. It's been an amazing ride so far. Um, but this time, one of your co-stars just happens to be a giant spider. <laughs> so what was it like coming face to face with Sting, giving us how this is an actual animatronic in the film rather than, uh, you know, a CGI effect added in later on? Obviously, it made things feel more real, right? Yeah, it was it was incredible to actually have the puppet there because you can react to it. And I actually talked to Sigourney for um, the scene where the spider's right in my face because that was inspired by a scene in Alien that she was in. And I I was talking to her and she was just telling me to react to the spider and to study it like a scientist and to get your fear from that spider and to get it from experiences and to bring it onto that kind of level. I'm not sure if that made sense, but I tried. No, total, anyway. total sense. <laughs> Um, so I think that having that spider there, it changed everything. It, it made it so much easier to have that fear reaction, to not have to imagine it, to have a spider in the room look as if there was a real spider in the room. Because the spider, it's not like they added in the eyes or the teeth or anything. They were there, you know, and it looked yeah, like it was, those... it was all there. Weta did an amazing job putting that together. Yeah, it was such- incredible special opportunity to get to work with Edda Weta, right? Yeah. You know, they've made some of your favorite films. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Uh, Ryan, as a stepfather myself, I really identified with your character and thought, you know, you really nailed that sort of tug of war dynamic between, you know, stepfather, stepdaughter relationship. Um, was it that sort of relationship that drew you to the role in addition to the horror elements? Absolutely. And um, I, I, Kia spoke to me early on about this sort of stemming from his own personal sphere of, fear of spiders, but also of being a parent. And where uh, and we spoke at great length about where that can go wrong, even when you're trying to get it right and trying to connect. Um, Lala, there's something there's something. Um, there's a terrifying dummy. Hey, stop. stop. Your, uh... Sorry about that. Sorry, he sometimes likes to move. Uh, uh, so, uh, it was, it was a, a element that absolutely drew me to it. And in my personal life, I've, um, I have two step parents who have helped raise and support me. Um, and so, you know, navigating that relationship and how important those relationships have been in my life and how, and how they're very much my family. And I've been lucky enough to sort of had four, four parents, you know, um, um, raise me. That was a really interesting dynamic to get to explore with this stupidly talented human being here. <laughs> that's fantastic speaking of speaking of family were you guys able to sort of bond on set as a family along with penelope mitchell you know in between takes and stuff because you guys really did a good job you know acting as that dysfunctional struggling family unit on screen so were you guys able to bond on set 100 percent. i think that's kind of what made the film have that arc and having kind of that trust in each other and just being able to be like completely goofy in front of each other. I think that really helped for when we all feel like that family while we're on set. And then when they add action, we have the lines that are telling us and showing us that we have those little fights and those little issues. And I think Kia kind of guided us through that. I think that was very interesting having, I think, it was interesting having kind of the base family and then adding kind of the issues and the um, problems on top of that. And I think Kia really helped with that. And having Ryan and Penelope was like, it felt like we were a real family, you know, it was, it was great. We, we had so much fun on set and I think that's, that was a great part about filming Sting and yeah, it was great. Mind That's fantastic. You, we have to do all that within a week, you know. We are you only have a week or two rehearsals, and it's like you know, jump into a family that you've known for seven years, and and it, it's about trust, isn't it, Lyles? And it's about sort of learning who each other are as people and what makes you excited to laugh, and you know, and so you can do those incredibly emotional parts and reach those heights. You have to trust each other. I think fantastic. Is, is, is 
Ryan, what was it like for you to be directed by Kia? Because I know he's someone you've wanted to work with for quite some time. So did it live up to your expectations? Uh, and and then some, you know, I think at the start of it, he came up to me and said, he's, he's like, I'm going to, I'm going to beat you up. Like, you know that, right? Like, you like, like, uh, it's going to be quite physical. And I was surprised at just how physical it was because you're dealing with practical effects, because you're literally having giant puppeted spiders with four puppeteers thrown at you because you're falling off. Um, but that's all absolutely a part of the fun and a part of the fun of making a film like this. I think Kia makes films that are slightly elevated and and very genre specific. He makes films that he wants to see. He makes films that he grew up seeing and he's a real cinephile himself. So seeing his vision from sort of paper and then trying to sort of manifest that um, um, uh, collaboratively, collaboratively with everyone um, was just you know, it's the most exciting part about being being in a film like this. I I I I've I've wanted to do it since Wormwood. I think no one moves the camera quite like Kia. I think he's he's sort of fearless in stepping outside of the box and making films that he wants to make. You know, I felt like sometimes in this film, it felt like the camera was going to crawl up your leg, and um, you know, I think I think the way it moves and adds to the atmosphere is a really uh, you know, it's just it's just kudos to Kia and and his his incredible way. Of, he's a very visceral. Um, um, sort of fantastical filmmaker, you know, and I don't think there's very many of them here. That's awesome. Yes. You know, you guys, you filmed this, you got to film this in Sydney, Australia. Uh, did it feel good not to have to leave your home country and go to Hollywood <laughs> to film a movie? Yeah, it was nice. It was very close. Oh, I'm just remembering back like every morning I went out my front door and there was like this van that pulled up on my street and it was around my birthday time, which is November. So it's like spring and it's all pretty and getting in the van, driving 20 minutes to the studio. And it was just a really, really fun shoot. It was. And being yeah, in New York. Just, yeah. Being in New York, like kind of, but still. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, okay. One last question. I know my time is coming to a close soon. Um, you guys have probably been asked this before. But were you afraid of spiders before shooting Sting? And if not, are you now? I'm not afraid of spiders. Um, I know Kia is. Kia is terrified. I actually like spiders. And I'm running a campaign that I just decided a second ago that I was going to run that is <laughs> um, kill the spider. So don't kill the spider, guys. Just take it outside. We need the spiders. You never know. You might kill an endangered one, which is even worse but if everyone kills a spider each day then like the numbers will like decrease way too much so like be careful and don't kill them just release them with uh glass and paper and tupperware and just be nice yeah alana's actually the best person to go to on how to safely extract a spider from your shower or home into the wild again you know to make its little spider families <laughs> I love it. Ryan Gore, Lila Brown, thank you so much. I love the film. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a big hit. I really appreciate your time today. Thank you very much.